Hello, welcome church to This Time Tomorrow. I'm Joy. And I'm Ray. Um, we'd just like to tell you what we'll be doing this time tomorrow. So I work as a teaching assistant at a small village primary school just outside of Canterbury. Um, I like to listen to praise and worship music in the car on my journey to work and it gives me the opportunity to pray for children that are on my mind and on my heart and that I know will need a bit of support during the day. Um, the school's very small, we work in, with combined year groups and I work with the oldest children in the school. On a Monday morning we may have a support team meeting where we talk about children of concern um, and how we can help best help those children and what strategies we can put in place for them. Or I'll be straight in the classroom where we're teaching maths first and then English. Um, particularly, I particularly enjoy teaching maths to children that find it difficult. So if a child hasn't um, grasped a concept the first time the teacher has taught it, it's my job to find alternative ways of teaching that child. And I'll keep going with different strategies for them until they get to that point where they have that wonderful light bulb moment and they grasp a concept that they previously just did not understand, um, which is a real privilege to be part of their learning journey. Uh, for me, I pray for patience in the classroom. I ask the Holy Spirit to prompt me to help those children that are struggling either with issues at home or in the classroom. Often they don't say anything, and if they present with challenging behavior, there's always a reason behind that, and I pray that that becomes clear to me and that I have a listening ear and eyes that will see that things that perhaps other people have overlooked. Um, somehow I've ended up being responsible for lunchtime football. Don't ask me how. You really need the wisdom of Solomon to deal with these playground disputes. If your child comes home and says, um, tells you what happened that day in the playground, believe me, there are at least half a dozen other versions of that story and what happened and often it's my job to get to the bottom of it. Um, I find that although I can't openly share my faith with the children, it my faith is what dictates how I behave in the classroom. I believe I bring peace into the classroom, I ask for, for wisdom from God and just to be that person that will provide a secure and stable environment for children to learn, for them to reach their potential and to really find school a positive experience. So Ray, tell us what you'll be doing this time tomorrow. Okay, I'll probably, uh, probably being, being on, the, on the bus uh, going to, to work. Uh, I work as a, uh, in B&Q as a uh, um, customer advisor. Um, um, my, my background is uh, construction so I'm I do have a, a, a good knowledge of uh, um, DIY and uh, construction problems um, so um, I'm very helpful so pe people um, front front end they, they, they call call my on the tannoy uh, my, my uh, ray to, to the front um, and there's usually a, a customer waiting for me to, to sort out their DIY problems and, uh, and I do so, hopefully. Um, so you've been acknowledged at work, haven't you, by your customers and by the management for your good customer service? That's right, that's good. Um, I, I, and I still, I, I care about the um, the customers, um, so my uh, your ethos at work. Yes, yes. So when you when you're at work, you don't have that much opportunity to share your faith, do you? But yes, yeah, so I, I I I talk to the customers as to the, as to the Lord. Um, so. Um, I'm, I'm helping God with his DIY problems and and that is that is my spirit um, 
and so if, if you pop in don't hesitate to say hello and uh, and have a good conversation with me so you feel that you're there to to, to help people and to, to serve them just as you would serve God absolutely that's right yes so um, we'd like to leave you with a little word of encouragement for your week um, Ray you were saying you'd think people should you know everything that they do they should do unto God unto God yes so whether you're at work at home at school at college to take that thought with you that whatever you do in word or deed you do unto the Lord and I'd like to leave you with the verse from Proverbs 16 verse 9 which said the Lord directs your steps so the, uh, sorry a man plans in his heart but the Lord directs his steps and that's just something that we find in everyday life, that we plan to do things, but God directs our steps. He'll take us to the right child, to the right customer, and that we'd be, you know, God's hands and feet and Jesus' hands and feet and bring the light of God into that situation wherever we are. So bless you, church. Mm. Have a good week. Mm. Have a blessed week.